Is it possible that we could be building algorithms that, instead of predicting what we're going to do next, will force their prognostications onto us and make us live these algorithmic futures? We discuss why there is a temptation for algorithm builders to stop the challenging task of predicting and to instead start telling us what to do. Predicting the future is incredibly difficult. The world is complex and interconnected. Even when we deploy the might of a tech company like Google onto these problems, we fail to make headway. Starting in 2008, Google famously tried to predict when flu outbreaks would occur in the world, using aggregating search queries on symptoms. An algorithm built on its vast search data was used to detect when certain phrases associated with flu symptoms were searched for, which was assumed to be associated with a flu outbreak. The algorithm often overestimated prevalence of the flu, one reason being that people often search for flu-like symptoms that may have been due to different diseases. This illustrates how challenging modelling can be, even with vast resources. These types of failures have not discouraged efforts to predict the future. However, we argue that instead of predicting complex events such as diseases, tech companies have focused instead their attention on predicting smaller, less complex events. Online shops are trying to predict what their customers are going to buy next. Streaming services want to predict what their viewers are going to watch. Search engines are predicting which ads their users will interact with. But even these so-called simpler events are still very difficult to predict. So wouldn't it be tempting to simply shape your customer's future instead? Then algorithms would never be wrong. How could this be achieved? The simplest thing to do is to force us to live the prediction created by the algorithm by having the predictions be the only options available to us. Have you ever found yourself re-watching TV shows or movies you've already watched? How about watching that sitcom for the hundredth time? Or a Marvel movie yet again? Algorithms can get us stuck in loops and force us on a particular path. The algorithms use data to predict what you will do next, but then consume that very data they themselves have created, which generates self-enforcing feedback loops leading to frustrating results. The algorithm is stuck because you are stuck, and you are stuck because the algorithm is stuck. You keep being shown what you have already engaged with, and then you engage with it. And the algorithm says, yes, more of this. And you might stay in the same spot because you don't know what else is out there, and by design, the algorithm doesn't either. Things can stay this way until you get a jolt from a friend or an outside source suggesting something new to freshen up your feed. Then the algorithm might get inspired and push you into a different loop. This seemingly innocuous problem can be even more worrying when we consider the fact that algorithms are entering shaping the real world. Recently, there has been a proliferation of predictive policing systems. These are built on algorithms that use existing arrest records to train their initial models. This data is already biased, for example, against people of colour. This is a separate problem that we'll discuss in a later video. Once the algorithm is running, it will keep dispatching police officers to the same neighbourhoods. Eventually, if a police officer is looking for something they deem criminal, they will find it. This new data will then be used to train the next round of the algorithm. What will it have learned? It will simply confirm that sending officers to that neighbourhood was a good idea. Moreover, when the next police recruits join, they will be taught that the neighbourhoods the system has identified are always where the criminal activity is. As time goes by, you may never look beyond what the algorithm has chosen. The question is how do we harness this incredible computational power without limiting human potential? This is the challenge that has not yet been solved.